reviewing not this couch silly the one tigress um folding camping chair it's super compact even though that's not really a tiger that looks like a beaver or like a badger with sharp teeth ow joking uh, there is no directions that come with this thing. There is, you know, a couple things. One's a quality warranty zoom. Uh, just saying that, hey, if we got this thing all wrong and there's defects in it, give us a call. We're going to replace it for you. Because they care about that reputation. Beaver with sharp teeth. I know. I know. If you're making it towards the end, I promise you absolutely nothing other than I'll show you the whole process of opening this crazy thing yeah. there we go okay a little copy and paste we're going to disregard that off to the side we're going to unfold our contents like we're some archaeologists so there's your canvas we're going to put this off to the side now because the main focus is all the cool little contraptions inside here Unstrap your contents, and this thing's gonna unravel pretty much like one of those. Um, if you've ever had one, one of those. Oh, get, don't you embarrass me! Aha! Folding canes, and right there. Right I love this. This actually gives me so much joy. Anyways. So, I mean, there's multiple ways. You can do it individually. I think it'd be better for the product, just longevity-wise. But you can literally kind of shake it so that it all locks in. Now, ta-da, you have a bike rack. I know, guys. I'm here all night. Actually, not really. I'm only here for maybe the next five minutes. So, now that you get this on, I'm going to pre-warn you. I've actually put this damn thing together once. Oops. Maybe twice, three times, because... I am never satisfied with myself <laughs> and torture. So you're going to put together the bottom ones first. Trust me, put together the bottom ones first. It's going to be the hardest thing. After that, those things are smooth sailing. So I don't embarrass myself. Uh. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, um, big important you're going to hate this thing if you don't get it right you want to make sure that those end of the prongs this end of the sticks are all the way furthest into the fabric as possible if not you're going to have a lot of problems with the tension and the seat's going to be off and you're just not going to enjoy it as it is you're going to need a little bit of elbow grease pre-warning to get this on properly uh, like i said the top ones relatively uh, easy to get on and boom there you go uh, bah, bah, there it is I saw his glory sitting on my couch this will be the one time for you but you get out and about you belong to the streets your feet are still clean for now mm-hmm Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, your biggest problem that's going to come with this and frustration, admittedly, is going to probably be if you snap. Whoa. If you snap. Mm, come to me. One of these cords. When you snap one of these cords, it is... Boy, it's going to be a wrap. Unless you figure out how to do, I don't know, some Boy Scout, paracord, bungee stuff. You're not going to like this. Also, if you can't, if you don't have the elbow grease or you don't have somebody helping you put this thing together, you're going to have a bit of a time getting these bottom, uh, these bottom two actually hooked up. Top is pretty easy. You're going to have two breathing holes for your back booty. Go straight through. Hello. Um, you also get these two pockets on both sides. This fabric is just like a uh, canvas. So it's really thin. So anything you stick back here, be ready to have it poke you either in your side or your 
whatever it is that you're laying that part of your body on, you're going to feel it. That's all I'm saying. I'm constantly discovering new stuff about this thing. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah. There is a warning here. If you're on a very uneven surface, this chair might not do well. It does rock a bit left and right. Forward and back is pretty solid, but that side to side is a little, little weird. But other than that, it's a pretty solid chair if you're just trying to get off your feet. You're out, out and about for hours on end. You're just trying to <laughs> give yourself a bit of a breather. Dude, this thing's excellent. Um, I went and actually got well, not one that Tiger. I got a two a Tiger. Hopefully, it was a good investment. Um, for being at a weight limit of uh, three thirty, it's not bad. I'm two sixty, so it held all my weight. I'm not gonna lie to you, big guys, big gals. It's gonna be kind of scary squeezing your butt on this thing. It's gonna feel like. Ah! But as long as you stay fearless, uh, you should be all right. So the breakdown is pretty simple. Just reverse the steps. Again, I would recommend starting with the bottom. Starting with the bottom because it's going to be the most difficult. After that, it's going to be pretty easy. Um, like super ridiculously easy. Look, boom. Over there, bike rack. I know, right? Yeah. And then all you do is just break these down. After you break all these down, this thing is pretty awesome to hold it all together. And once you have this tied up, you're going to take, you're going to take this and you're going to kind of do a trifold. If you don't do the trifold, it's not going to fit inside your uh, case as well. You're just going to take it, fold it. About a third of the way in. Take the other side, fold it a third of the way in. And then you're going to take your contents, uh, your collapsible cane, and you're going to take that and you're just going to roll it like we unrolled it to at the start. Hmm. <laughs> you unroll it from the start. Uh, mm. Mm -hmm. Bang. And again, you can set this on pretty much anything. I would put it on a carabiner and rock it. I just put it on my wrist and just carry it around. This thing is not heavy. I mean, not heavy at all. So that's it. One tiger's good, good job. I'm still not convinced this is a tight tiger rest. Girl tiger, boy tiger, that's not a tiger. That's a lightning bolt. But this is a beaver. Guys, you can't tell me. That's a beaver. Look at the nose. It's a tangent over. You guys have been awesome. If you made it all the way through, uh, I appreciate you. God bless your soul. You if you tolerated me this this long. Um, Again, if you need something to get off your butt and something really compact and it's not going to take up a bunch of room like one of your traditional folding chairs... It's not a bad product. Not bad at all. That's it. You enjoy the rest of your day.